Have you ever wondered why no one wants to live in Mongolia? Welcome to the first stop of our journey as we delve into the enigmatic realm of Mongolia, a country that, despite its expansive territory, has one of the lowest population densities on the planet. Imagine a land nearly three times the size of France, yet with a population smaller than that of the city of Chicago. Yes, that's Mongolia for you. A vast stretch of wilderness, where the eagles soar high above the windswept steppes and the nomadic tribes wander under the vast azure sky. But why is it that this expansive land remains so sparsely populated? Strategically nestled between Russia to the north and China to the south, Mongolia offers a fascinating blend of cultures, traditions, and landscapes. From the towering Altai Mountains to the arid Gobi Desert, the geographical diversity of Mongolia is as vast as its land. But this land, as beautiful as it is, is also one of the harshest climates on Earth with temperatures swinging from scorching summers to bone-chilling winters. Could this be a contributing factor to its low population? But Mongolia is more than just its geography and climate. It's a land steeped in history and tradition. The echoes of the mighty Genghis Khan and his Mongol Empire can still be heard in the winds that sweep across the vast steppes. A nation that once ruled the largest contiguous empire in history, today stands as a paradox, with its vast lands echoing with the silence of solitude. As we embark on this journey, we'll explore a range of factors that contribute to this peculiar phenomenon. From the harsh climatic conditions to economic struggles, lack of infrastructure and a significant cultural shift, we'll delve into the heart of the Mongolian enigma. Our exploration will seek to uncover the reasons why this land of the blue sky, once the center of a thriving empire, today remains a realm of solitude. Stay tuned as we uncover the reasons behind this fascinating paradox. Imagine living in a place where winters are brutally cold and summers are dry and short. Welcome to Mongolia, a country that is home to one of the most extreme continental climates on our planet. In the depths of winter, temperatures can plummet to a bone-chilling negative 40 degrees Celsius. This isn't a once-in-a-blue-moon kind of chill either, it's a relentless, icy grip that holds the country in its clutches for months on end. Imagine stepping out of your door to a world that's frozen solid, where the air itself seems to bite at your skin, that's a Mongolian winter for you, a season that makes even the simplest of tasks an uphill battle against the elements. And when winter finally releases its grasp, don't expect the gentle warmth of spring to follow. Mongolia jumps straight from the freezer into the fire with short dry summers that can see temperatures soaring into the 30s. The land transforms from a frozen wasteland into a parched desert, with little respite from the heat and dust. Now let's talk about agriculture. In a country where the soil spends months hidden under a blanket of snow, only to be baked dry in the summer, growing crops is a significant challenge. This extreme climate doesn't just make life uncomfortable, it also threatens food security. Many traditional methods of farming simply can't survive in this harsh environment, leaving the people of Mongolia to rely heavily on livestock for their sustenance. But this isn't a tale of despair. The people of Mongolia are as resilient as the land they inhabit. They've adapted to their environment in remarkable ways, developing hardy breeds of livestock and innovative farming methods to make the most of their challenging climate. Yet for many, the prospect of living with such extreme weather conditions can be daunting. It's a life that demands toughness, resilience, and a deep respect for the power of nature. Surviving in such extreme conditions is not for the faint of heart. Now let's consider the economic aspect of life in Mongolia. Mongolia's economy presents a unique set of challenges that can make life quite difficult for residents. The country is heavily dependent on its mining sector, particularly for coal, copper, and gold. These resources account for a staggering 90% of Mongolia's exports. This heavy reliance on mining can lead to economic instability, as the market for these resources can fluctuate wildly. The economy can boom when prices are high, but when prices fall, the whole country can feel the pinch. Imagine living in a place where your livelihood is tied to the whims of the global commodities market. It's like being on a roller coaster that never ends. One year you might be riding high on a wave of prosperity, and the next you could be struggling to make ends meet. But that's not the only economic challenge Mongolia faces. The country also grapples with high unemployment rates. Many young people in Mongolia are unable to find work, leading to a sense of frustration and hopelessness. And this isn't just a problem for the youth. Around a quarter of Mongolia's population lives in poverty, 
struggling every day to provide for their families. Mongolia's economy isn't diversified either. Apart from mining, there aren't many other industries that contribute significantly to the country's GDP. This lack of diversification leaves Mongolia vulnerable to economic shocks and does little to create jobs or improve living standards. When we compare Mongolia's GDP with that of other countries, we see that it's significantly lower. For instance, Mongolia's GDP per capita is around $3,000, while in a country like the United States, it's over $60,000. This stark contrast highlights the economic struggles many Mongolians face. However, it's important to note that Mongolia is making efforts to improve its economic situation. The government is working on diversifying the economy and attracting foreign investment. But these changes take time, and in the meantime, many Mongolians continue to face economic hardship. Economic instability can indeed be a deterrent to settling down in a country. What if your nearest hospital was hundreds of miles away? This is a reality for many Mongolians, particularly those residing in the vast rural areas of the country. The infrastructure in Mongolia, especially in these remote regions, leaves much to be desired. The story of Mongolia's infrastructure is one of inadequacy and inaccessibility. Imagine having a medical emergency, and the closest healthcare facility is a day's journey away. Or perhaps you're expecting a child and prenatal care is a luxury you can't afford due to distance. This is not a hypothetical scenario but the harsh reality of healthcare in rural Mongolia. The few existing facilities are often understaffed and ill-equipped, making access to quality health care a monumental challenge. Now, visualize a life where your commute isn't just a drive down the freeway, but a grueling journey over poorly maintained roads through extreme weather conditions. The road network in Mongolia is sparse and in a state of disrepair. The lack of well-connected roads makes travel, trade and communication a Herculean task, further isolating the rural communities. And then, there's the issue of basic amenities. Imagine a life without consistent access to electricity, where every flicker of light is a luxury. Envision a world where clean water isn't just a turn of a faucet away, but a resource that requires effort and time to procure. These are not just thought experiments, but the daily realities for many Mongolians. The access to basic amenities like electricity and clean water is severely limited making life not just difficult, but also precarious. The state of infrastructure and services in Mongolia paints a grim picture. It is a tale of isolation and struggle, of a life spent not just living but surviving. It's a life that demands resilience and strength, a life that tests the limits of human endurance. Living without easy access to essential services is a challenge many are not willing to take. It's a tale of a country that's rich in culture and history, but poor in the basic infrastructure that makes modern life possible, and that's why many choose not to call Mongolia home. Finally, let's talk about the cultural factors that might discourage people from living in Mongolia. Mongolia is a country with a rich history marked by unique customs and traditions, some of which can be traced back to the times of Genghis Khan. This cultural richness, however, can sometimes act as a deterrent for those not familiar with it. Imagine moving to a country where the majority of the population still follows a semi-nomadic lifestyle, moving with their herds of animals across the vast open steppes. For many this would be an adventure, a chance to experience a way of life that has survived for centuries. But for others, the thought of such a drastic shift from their usual urban routines can be quite overwhelming. Language too presents a formidable barrier. Mongolian is a unique language with its own script and structure. It bears little resemblance to any of the commonly spoken languages in the world, making it a challenging task for newcomers to learn. This difficulty in communication can often lead to a sense of isolation, making it harder for foreigners to integrate into the society. Moreover, Mongolia's unique traditions, while fascinating, can also be daunting to outsiders. Practices such as the elaborate tea ceremonies, the strict etiquette around gift-giving or even the traditional wrestling matches can all be quite bewildering to someone unfamiliar with the culture. This cultural gap can often make foreigners feel like they are on the outside looking in, no matter how long they've been in the country. In conclusion, while Mongolia's culture is rich and vibrant, it can also pose significant challenges for those considering a move to the country. The cultural shift required to adapt to Mongolia's unique way of life is significant, and not everyone is willing or able to make such a change. Adapting to a new culture, especially one as distinct as Mongolia's, can be a daunting task. So we've delved into some key reasons why Mongolia, 
despite its vast landscapes and rich history, remains sparsely populated. To recap, we've discussed the tough climate conditions the country faces, with extreme temperatures that can be a challenge for many to endure, and how this impacts the day-to-day -day living. We've also touched on the economic struggles, with a heavy dependence on a few sectors and a lack of diverse opportunities, making it a difficult place to set up roots. Moreover, we've highlighted the gaps in infrastructure and services, which can make life in Mongolia more challenging than in other countries. And let's not forget the cultural shift which can be both exciting and daunting, particularly for outsiders. While Mongolia might not be everyone's first choice for a home, it certainly offers a unique and unforgettable experience for those brave enough to venture there. So who knows? Perhaps Mongolia's unpopulated expanses are just waiting for the right adventurers.